Now remember, the first thing you want to do is tune in to one very specific issue, whether it's emotional or physical. You want to give it a rating from 0 to 10, so you know how much it has moved. And then you'll start at the karate chop point and tap continuously as you repeat the setup phrase three times. And it's some derivation of, even though I have this problem, I accept myself. Then you'll go to the specific points and just tune into the problem. So it's even though I have this problem, I accept myself, this problem, 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 this problem. And it does not matter. You can use right hand, right side, right hand, left side, left. It makes no difference. You can do both at once if you want. There's no real way to do it wrong. Just do it. The important thing to remember with EFT is to always tune into the truth of the moment, the truth of where you are. If you'd like more information, you can always go to my website, which is www.easyhealthyme.com, and you can either spell out easy or do the letters easy. You can get more information on learning EFT to do it on your own or information on working with a practitioner. Now, you don't always have to work with a practitioner, but it is often helpful for issues that are troubling on your own. The reason you would see a pr practitioner is that often when we work on ourselves, we don't go deeply enough into an issue to address the thing entirely. And we'll give up too easily. We won't go far enough, and a practitioner can can really focus in on the core issue and help you find true lasting relief. And for more information on doing it yourself or working with a practitioner, you can go to www.easyhealthyme.com.